Hey, it is a pizza shop known for putting a unique seasonal twist on its pies. Yeah, Fox Shows I.O. Elise takes us inside Lovely's 50-50. You're about to make us hungry again, I.O. You know what I do, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Lovely's 50-50 in North Portland is known for its fresh take on pizza. And now that the shop is featured in a new Netflix series, it's a food series. It's sure to find new fans. So usually I'll just try to get them out pretty perfectly so that they stay around. I really enjoy pizza that has crust that's more like bread and encompasses a lot of vegetables and some really good like organic cheeses and melty, melty cheeses. Um, I like pizzas without sauce mostly. Um, and I like it to be something that's like very hearty and a little nutritious, but also something that's elegant and encompasses, you know, different seasonal things that maybe people don't think of right away when they think of pizza. And that is the kind of pie that Lovely's 5050 in North Portland serves. The pizza and ice cream shop has been open for 13 years and each day slowly changing people's minds as to what pizza can be. You know, over the years, people have come to like take our word for what's going to be the best thing to get. And we have many regulars who also know when things are going to change and they look forward to certain pizzas coming out in certain seasons. And so go ahead and just give it a little stir with your hands. It's going to get a little messy. Like this? Okay. Yep. Chef and owner Sarah Minnick, who grew up in Portland, tells the story behind the restaurant on the Netflix food series Chef's Table Pizza, including the fact that she had never made a pizza before deciding to open the shop. The response has been so positive. There's a lot of like goodwill sent our way, which is really, really great. It just makes us feel good and keep wanting to do better and better. And get more creative, like continuing to serve ice cream flavors like cantaloupe or vanilla bean infused with lemon oil. And with the pizza too, of course, using ingredients sourced from Oregon Farms. Take, for example. This is a cherry confit tomato pizza with squash, and I get all these edible flowers from my yard, so I have that just for like a couple more days until the flowers are probably almost done. <laughs> yeah, I think if people, you know, take away from the episode one thing, it'd be nice if it was just putting, taking your passion and hard work and putting them together and achieving, you know, something great. Now, you've never had a pizza until you've had flowers on it. Just so you know, got to try it. You can stop by Lovely's 5050 every day starting at 5. Back to you. Oh, it looks so good. Thank you, Io.